Okay, so let's start by sitting, lying down on our backs and hugging knees in towards the chest. Just rocking a little bit from side to side. So our Thursday practice is the more gentle practice. So let the floor come up to meet you and hold you. And I hope that whatever the surface is that you're lying on, that it is soft and giving you enough cushioning for your spine. And then bring your hands to your knees and let's do the circles here with our knees, slow circles. And the breath will start to steady itself. And then switch directions. And you'll find, you'll feel and find for yourself where your breath wants to go. Where does the exhale fall? And where does the inhale fall? But make it conscious, make it deliberate. As you inhale, let the knees move away from you. And as you exhale, hug the knees tight in towards your chest, like really curl them in. A few times. bringing hands inside the knees, just hold on to the shins. So you take a very gentle, happy baby. Heels stacked above knees. Maybe you can let the sternum press down into the floor. Maybe you can let the sacrum press down into the floor. And then release the legs and bring the feet to the floor, knees bent. And reach your arms up overhead. And we'll take a fold of our arms holding onto our elbows. I hope this is all right on your shoulders and your neck. And drop the knees in together and have the feet apart. Slowly turn your head to the right. Come up through centre and then turn your head to the left. Maybe walk your shoulders a little bit further down the mat, keeping your arms as they are. And you're just going to gently drop knees over to the right. You can keep your gaze up at the ceiling. You can drop the eyelids. And then come up through centre with the knees and take them over to the left. Okay, then coming up to centre again. Opening your arms out like a T, you're going to extend your legs up to the ceiling and just give them a little gentle shake. And then keeping the knees soft. Shins parallel to the floor, arms out as a T. Turn your gaze to the left and just bring your knees about 20 degrees over to the right. You should 
notice that there's a moment where the abdominal muscles kick in. It's just before the arms take over. And then inhale as you come back to centre. We'll do the same in the other direction. So slow movement, real awareness as to what's going on in the core. If the arms are kicking in, then you've gone too far. Tummy button is drawing in towards the back, giving you that extra support. And one more time on each side. And then this next time, using the arms to stabilise you, you're going to drop the knees all the way down to the right and turn your gaze to the left. Find the deeper breath here. Let's see if you can press either shoulder bone into, shoulder blade into the floor. The deeper the breath here, the more the magic you're creating within your body. Inhaling as the knees come up to centre. Maybe just stretch the legs again, give them another little shake as you neutralise and centre, let everything Realign and then soften the knees. Use the arms for stability as you drop the knees over to the left, gazing to the right. Inhaling back up to centre. Take your arms around the backs of your thighs, hug your knees in really close again, cross your ankles, and take several rocks forwards and back, holding onto the backs of your thighs. That's how to wake up your spine. And then coming all the way up and see if you can pivot on the sitting bones with your feet and shins parallel to the floor. Pull the tummy in. So if you've got the thighs quite close to you, then it, it, it's relatively easy to stay here, isn't it? If you find a little position of balance. Bring the, um, the ankles together, the knees together. Lift the sternum away from the floor and pull the tummy button in towards the spine. And then bring your arms parallel to your shins. And you're going to need a deep breath, so you're breathing through the nose, feeling the vibration in your throat, ujjayi breath. And Mula Bandha is there to support you as well, so the pelvic floor is lifting. And then drop the feet to the floor, take your hands behind you, fingers pointing towards sitting bones, and we'll come up into a table. Maybe your head drops back, it just depends how your neck is. But the heart is lifting, the hips are lifting. And then exhale as you come back down. So that, we can repeat that again with the knees quite close. The more intense version is as the knees start to move away. But you don't want to sacrifice the spine. And you certainly don't want to be pushing your tummy out. You're, you're still... You know the inside of an ice cream scoop, 
That is the kind of energy of the tummy here. Dropping the feet to the floor, hands behind, coming up into table. And let's just bring the soles of the feet together, hold on to the toes, so you're coming up into cobbler, knees are dropping out to the side. Inhale as you sit up, and as you exhale, come forwards, chin towards chest, crown of head towards toes. Inhale as you come back up, bring those knees up and we're going to take another Navasana. Feet to the floor, hands behind you, coming back up into table. And then exhaling, feet together, coming back to cobbler. And just be sure the neck feels good. It's amazing where the little pockets of tension move around your body as you do different poses. So being super aware of that. Inhaling as you come back up. And we're going to take... Um, I think it's called stacking logs pose, but let's take the left shin in front of you. So if you've got the short edge or the long edge of your mat, you're going to line the shin up with that line of the mat. And then you're going to take your hand underneath the right ankle and you're going to place it on top of the left knee. And then this left, for me, this is the probably the ultimate pose that I cannot do, my, my hips find this really deliciously challenging. So this right knee for me is right up here in the sky, but for you, it might come somewhere down near this uh, left ankle or left heel. So you're not sitting cross-legged. That's often um, a sort of default movement that we drop into here. The, it's called stacking wood because it's as if the shin bones are stacked directly on top of one another. If, like me, you have a flying knee, then it can be quite helpful to keep your hands underneath your top ankle because it gives you a little bit of support. You don't want this ankle to be twisting 90 degrees. And for those of you whose hips love this pose, find it really accessible, you can then take your hands forward and come into a forward bend. And the deeper you breathe, for me, anyway, it's amazing how the hips start to let me have a little bit more space if I spend a bit of time here. Nothing needs to be forced. It's the gentlest breath, the deepest, gentlest breath that lets the muscles know they're safe to open. Look at that, in just four or five breaths. It's amazing what happens. Okay, and inhale as you come back up. Release the legs. And for me, I love to take my hands behind my back, knees come together, feet apart, and drop from side to side here. And then coming back up, we're going to do the other side. So we're going to line the shin up with the line of your mat. Take your hands beneath the left ankle, a little wriggle around here. Helpful to have this 
foot at, at 90 degrees is you bring it across and place it on the right knee. If, like me, you have a flying knee, keep your hand supporting your ankle underneath. You're never going over the top because that just hurts your knee. So you're always underneath the ankle with your hands. Start to find both sitting bones as you kind of neutralize and level on your spine. For those of you who can, come into a forward bend here. Either way, just taking deep breaths. And when you're ready, coming back up. Knees together, feet apart, hands behind you. A little bit of side stretching. And then we're going to come to sitting with legs straight out in front, toes pointing upwards. Inhale as you reach your arms up tall. As you exhale, take your arms wide to the side and come either up to the tops of your toes or onto your shins. You can have your knees soft if your lower back is finding it a little bit tight this morning. You definitely don't need to have straight legs, it's fine to have softness in your knees. Inhale as you look forwards and exhale, come into a forward bend. As you come back up, reach your arms up high, bend your right knee, take the foot across, square these toes, as you inhale, reach the left arm up, and as you exhale, take the left elbow across, right arm behind you. Every inhale, see if you can float your ribcage a little higher. And to do that, you're going to need to push your sitting bones a little deeper. Coming back to centre. Bend this bottom leg so you tuck the heel in. It's easier if I show you that. It's sitting up nice and tall. And again, reach the left arm up. Exhale, take the elbow across, bring the right hand behind you. So remembering how much the diaphragm helps you here, if you give yourself the opportunity to breathe that much deeper. Inhale as you come back, and we're going to stretch, straighten our legs out. Arms come up high, exhale, hands coming down towards toes or shins. A little bit of rocking from side to side. I'm so fast this morning. That's the fastest half an hour I've ever experienced in my life, I think. And inhale as your arms come up. And we're going to take the left knee, bring it in towards your body. Take it across. These toes are pointing upwards. Inhale as you reach your right arm up. And as you exhale, take the elbow across, left hand behind you. It can be interesting, the difference from side to side. And on this side, this is the side where you're really twisting into the, the liver. 
The liver is a massive and dense and compact organ. It's, I don't know, possibly one of my favorite organs of the body. It's so forgiving and so resilient and resourceful and extraordinary. When you give it this twist here and you breathe deeply, I mean, it's just like giving yourself the biggest hug. Inhale as you come back to center. And just tuck that right heel in. Hug the knee, sit up nice and tall, and once again the right arm rises. And as you exhale, take the elbow across, left hand comes behind you. center and let's come into easy pose so this is cross-legged but with the ankles further apart than you would normally do in a cross-legged position and take the right hand down reach the left arm up and as you exhale slide the right hand away keep the sitting bones grounded and come into a side stretch and as you exhale perhaps you glance down at the floor and as you inhale perhaps that top elbow lifts up as you look up towards the ceiling inhale as you come all the way up we're going to switch legs so the less automatic crossing of the legs, again, the heels are further apart than you would normally. Left hand is down, right hand rises. Find the sitting bones, and then exhale, slide the left hand away, reach the right arm overhead. Exhaling, glancing down at the floor. Right hand kind of reaches ahead of you, and then as you inhale, the elbow lifts as you look up. Inhaling as you come back up. Bringing your hands to your heart center. I hope that you feel stretched for today, that your liver has had exactly the boost that it needed. Go have a really big glass of water or some hot water with ginger and lemon in it and nurture yourself all day today. Well done, everybody.